breaking news from CBS 17 News. This is a CBS 17 News breaking news alert. We have a press conference going on right now. That's right. This is about that officer, or excuse me, that trooper involved shooting in Wayne County. It's about the trooper, and uh, is very thankful that the trooper is not injured. And uh, our thoughts also go out to the suspect at this time. You described an altercation that took place involving the trooper and the suspect. Can you give me more details about what that altercation was and why this escalated to the way it did? I cannot at this point. That's that. That'll be uh, covered during the uh, SBI's investigation. And you just recently had a trooper not too long ago who was shot during a traffic stop. So whenever you get a call like this, I'm sure this is um, pretty nerve-wracking for the people responding. It really is. I mean, uh, the trooper that's involved uh, in this specific incident, I know personally, uh, he's very well known around this community, and uh, we're just very thankful that he was not injured. Uh, it's just another reminder of the perils that law enforcement faces each day um, and, the, and the seriousness of this job. And every time you make a stop, you really don't know what you're getting into. You do not. You have no clue. When you had mentioned that the driver was going 96 miles an hour, were you all looking for this person for any other reason, or did this simply start because that driver was going so fast? It was it was a simply uh, a, a speed enforcement uh, investigation. Uh, I don't think the trooper had any other reason to stop that vehicle other than the fact that he was uh, driving at such a high rate of speed. Do you know how long that chase went on before the stop? It was not a chase. Uh, the, the trooper basically overtook the vehicle, and the vehicle immediately uh, pulled over uh, once, I'm assuming, he identified that the trooper was behind him with his emergency equipment activated. And then the altercation happened after he stopped that car and got out of the car to approach him. That's correct. How much longer do you anticipate Highway 70 being closed? Um, the SBI has just arrived on scene. They're conducting their investigation. And again, we have authorities uh, with the State Highway Patrol who is conducting an internal investigation. Uh, we're hoping to get the roadway back, and op back opened up within the next hour, hour and a half or so. But uh, we want to ensure that all the I's are dotted, T's are crossed to make sure that, that everything is thoroughly investigated. Thank you, Sergeant Baker. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right, that was an update you heard there from uh, uh, state troopers. Again, we know that it was a Wayne County trooper who was involved in the shooting in Johnston County, and that has closed Highway 70 in the Princeton community. And it appears it will be closed for at least another hour while the SBI yeah. investigates. Sergeant Mike Baker saying he's thankful the trooper wasn't injured in this case and talked about how cautious you have to be when, you, in, you know, when you're involved in these traffic stops. Sure, we'll stay on top of this for you right here on air and online at CBS17.com and starting at 5 o'clock right after The Young and the Restless. For more updates, visit CBS17.com or download our free CBS17 News app.